Russell stepping in for Lauren Woods as he did at times last year. Richard Jefferson stepping in and stepping up almost out of the gym on one occasion yesterday. An incredible performance. The play of the day on ESPN, ESPN, but the middle game is what was impressive as well. The ability to pull up, use the good footwork, but how about this one? Dan the man on the ladder. You couldn't get up there. <laughs> Send it in, Richard Jefferson. 18th year for Lute Olson, his head coach at Arizona, and one of the best and deepest teams that he has had. A winning percentage of almost 77 pick. The whistle's been blowing early and often in these games as the officials try to clamp down on some of the rough play away from the ball. Nice double here. And you don't whistle if they want. Marina sends for the jumper and knocks it down. How about keeping your dribble alive with impact? Shot. Uh, Williams uh, with the ability there, a concern, but the counter at the other end is Cook tries to help out and then recover to the big guy and the, uh, not the kind of response you need from the guard. With the shot, most of his offense in this tournament has come on rebounds and putbacks, not really the go-to guy in the paint. Gardner again. Mm, unerring. Uh, he's been struggling a little with that deep three, but past performance, you've got to play him. But, uh, when he gets back home after the holiday, let me see what his... Uh, folks have to say and <laughs> his lady friend five to three Arizona Gardner looking for another three-pointer two in a row uh, that's the point and you established the road anybody can hurt you the little guy can light it up and, and Gardner actually messed that up there for Wright who was in good position uh, but this is the most dangerous guy the guy that takes it out you're not ready wrestle a nice play clever little call by Lee Olson. Illinois still looking for its first field goal of the game today by the NCAA so he is still suspended three more games after the conclusion of this tournament we talked to Lee Olson just before the game and he gave us his reaction to the news obviously we're we're very disappointed in it um, I think our attorneys felt that there was a very strong case because it is a long uh, lasting relationship it's uh, long standing it's been 10 years uh, and uh, you know I guess before long it's going to be when uh, the young man pops out of the womb they're going to have a eligible or Ill, uh, or not eligible on him I, d I don't know I'm I'm just disappointed just based on what I've been told about it I'm uh, I'm disappointed but it's done and as we know no one argues with the with the NCAA well, it's getting harder to legislate the past Dan, and that seems to be the dilemma the coaches are facing a lot of young players in the early grade school befriend people that assist them and, and some are in dire straits some are in need of assistance and it's sort of part of the element the AAU and slash independent basketball and it's really become a dilemma how to cope with great passer as well as you say Illinois now just two for eight from the field but back within two points dead quite a player too by Cooper you think of it huh yep on the pro Frazier lost it, Wright finds it, and the lefty banks it home. Tell you, he is really active. He's getting himself free. Good presentation. You mentioned the seal. Going deeper into his bench. Nice hands. Pass tipped away by Gardner. Jefferson leading the break. Gardner the pull-up three from the wing. Oh, Lucas, who do they call? Yeah, they get it on him. He did a little swing job on a takedown on Jefferson. And as advertised, you know Jefferson is going to have to compete, put up with, whatever way you want to phrase it, the physical play of Lucas Johnson and right here now he's gonna check you out and take you down I and mean, there's a two points for the takedown said it will become apparent but they've got the spot players I think just to contest this game let's go back in for Arizona looking for Gardner play with another tough matchup Gardner a long three and he's got 11 of Arizona's 17 how about the breakdown here's the counter by Harrington try one side ball reversal well, you can really set up all the time. A lot of coaches will go to a little trap just to shake it up, but experience prevails by Arizona. Gardner's out, so Frazier running the point right now. Good luck. Oh, he's such a good passer. Jefferson, as we've seen him do on occasion, slides to the two-guard spot, slides to the basket and banks it in. With strength and finesse. Got to get back. Good run by Gardner. Oh, my goodness. What a look by Sergio. 
explain, and in this tournament, it probably has been Williams. I mean, it could be any one of the five. Well, they have so many answers to put you away, and that's both teams yes. also. And team basketball, the concept of giving it up. Walt leans that shoulder in to get to the glass. And that sort of helped them as well. Just buoyed them enough. With a soft release. Here's Walt. Look ahead for Walton. Illinois has got to get back. Frazier, what a bounce he's got. Jefferson for three. Frazier the assist. I don't know what the fans are hollering at. That's a nice jump stop yeah. kick. I think we need to jump that high and stop that quickly. It looks like a travel. <laughs> 50 points already in this tournament. Coming on, though, isn't he? We line on back with it in two. Edges in the baseline, guarded by Griffin, who's got a couple of fouls. Pretty, huh? Power personified the nice footwork. What a big fella. It's March two by Arizona to go right at the guy in foul trouble. Mm -hmm. He had switched to his own. He was playing man-to-man -man on Gardner. They emptied that backside beautifully. Russell hits the deck. Gardner. He's been there for him today. His fourth three-pointer of the game, and he's high-stepping back down on D. Did you see how far that was? I mean, that's a good seven, eight feet, kids. <laughs> Took a year off last year, taught kindergarten, completing his teaching requirements, got his degree. Edgerson now going after a master's in education. And as he's told us, and as we've told you, he likes the old-school look. He likes the old-school feel to his game. And and obviously he likes the points and the rebounds. He's had a big couple of games already. He sure has the knee pads. That we've got the white knee pads on blue last night. He's like Johnny Kerr. Keeps rubbing the knees. <laughs> Just give me one more game. Uh, by Edgerson. They got the ball. Just great effort. They like to, even if it's big to small, exchange people. Louisville does the same type of thing. Just reading things. Here they come baseline in. Edgerson just heads up play, and that's part of what you alluded to. Anything that... In their feet here in Lahaina. Walton dribbles into trouble. Beautiful feet underneath to right. And one. Now, how many guys can get in that awkward spot and finish? You've got to be physically imposing the look and catch, but the counter at the other end, the nice screen. You can see Archibald. They had a stagger, and he doesn't need much space. Right in here now, under the rim, and look at this, just able to pump and not bring the ball down and still make it and get a chance for three. Third threes brought Illinois back to a tie. Nice. Here's Brett Melton into the game. And good control to him. The five was going to run right over right. Travis Hanauer, number five. A, a freshman described by Lou Wilson as a sleeper has checked in. No sleeper. No, not at all. And, and really, Illinois not reacting. That's his favorite ploy. If you don't come up on him, he just looks you in the eye, the gunslinger, and he indeed, knocking it down. Fifth three for Jason Gardner, 18 points and an eight-point lead, Arizona. Oh, nice to honeymoon and see a little basketball, too, here at Mali, if you're a Illini fan. But the Arizona guys are the guys taking over right now. Jason Gardner, for the first time in his college career, Billy, has five three-pointers in a game. Well, yeah, he's having a honeymoon without the defense coming out on him. I mean, if any, it's tardy, and this is his favorite toy. If you don't come up on him, breaks you down, looks you in the eye, nylon from deep, all right, the 10, the 10.